Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the rain now. Hello, my name is Lost My Marbles, and welcome to the village server. Today, I'm working on the exterior of my base again. Whoops. And I figured I'd add a little more depth to this side, which it turns out in the original model that I'm working off anyway, that there's this divot here that I didn't account for when I originally constructed this wall. So I'm dealing with that, but it has given me a great idea. Let me show you something. Okay, let's say I need to go to the nether. Now unfortunately, it just doesn't make any sense to have a big old nether portal anywhere in the restaurant. Not even in the pantry. Boiler room would be kind of... I mean, I guess it would work. And that's all I've got on the interior so far. Everything else is just sort of... empty. So what I normally do is I fly all the way to my starter base and I use that portal right there. It's just sort of there. It's not really aesthetically pleasing now, is it? My goal for today is to give myself a much better portal right in that space there. Obviously, the original design of the Hotel Adriano does not have a giant purple portal on its back. And I'm okay with that, because this is my project, I will do what I want. One of my major concerns when I realized that this part had to be pushed back, or rather, these parts had to be pushed forward, was that these holes here weren't going to line up properly. But it turns out, they align perfectly if I just set the corners like that. Except for when they don't. Unbelievable. Well, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. I guess if you don't look too closely at it, it's not bad. By the way, can anyone tell me what the function of this grate is? I can't, I can't seem to figure it out. Like, is it just a window? Because if so, why is it on the bottom? And like, does it just drain water out? But how does the water get in? Like, I don't get it. All right, so here's our canvas. I want to make a portal. Uh, that's perhaps a circle with another circle on top of it, something sort of rounded. Uh, originally I was thinking of going something like Art Deco style, but I get the feeling that this hotel and this island are just a little bit older, so I'm not entirely certain which direction to take this. I'm just going to try some things out. Well, I've got a circle, but I have a feeling I might want to make it just one block wider. Actually, I just had a thought. This is a good place. If I'm going to make it one wider, I might as well use this outline to tell me where to put the obsidian. Uh-oh. I'm breaking things already. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? What's behind this wall? That's unfortunate. I'm going to need to push this out by one block, I think. No? No, yeah, I will. <sighs> okay, so now that there's a big old gaping hole in my wall, I need to figure out what I want to be behind the portal. I guess it doesn't matter terribly much, because I don't go in this area, but also the portal itself is so opaque most of the time that it doesn't really matter what blocks I put behind it. Wow, yeah, no, I actually really hate this. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the drawing board, I guess. Okay, it's the next day. I've given it a nice long think, and I believe I'm not going to focus too much on the exact shape of the portal, but more the, what's the word, ornamentation of it. You know, how what, what, what is framing the portal more than, you know, what, what does the portal itself look like? Um, I'm using these deep slate blocks to represent the obsidian right now, because I'll be honest, I don't want to keep mining obsidian over and over again. That's just not an efficient way to do things. So this is the shape I'm thinking of. It's kind of like an arch, you know, pretty basic. Um, thankfully, we have custom nether portals on, like I might have mentioned earlier. So this will totally work. And then... Hmm... Yeah, I guess I'll just fiddle around with it for a little bit. I'll come back when I think I've settled on a design. 
Okay, this has become quite an ordeal. I just can't seem to get this right. So you know what? For today, I'm going to tear this down. I'm going to take a break, find a different project to work on, and hopefully I will come back plenty inspired to build something that looks a lot better than this. Now you may be wondering, Lost, why are you in a mushroom cave? Well, oh, these are bone blocks. These aren't even... Ooh, what if I used bone blocks instead? Hold on, I got, I'm getting distracted. Um, I'm thinking about starting to lay out the interior of the hotel itself, but I want to divide them by walls. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't use bone block instead because that would be easier to get. Hmm, it is smoother, but that could be more interesting inside. Uh, what if I use both? They sort of go together, right? So I've been sitting here for like five minutes contemplating my life choices. I think I'm gonna stick with the mushroom stem. I have a bone farm and all that, it could work, but it's still pretty time consuming to farm all of those bones, and it's a pretty decent building, decently sized building anyway. Obviously I can just grow, hello, I can just grow mushrooms, as I've been doing for my bar walls, but I figured for now we could just take a little break, take our eyes off the base, get a, get a change of scenery, you know? Sometimes that's all it takes, just a little change of scenery to refresh your mind. I know when I'm producing music, I get ear fatigue from listening to the same song over and over and over again. So I figure in Minecraft it's kind of the same. If I only ever hang out at my base, I will eventually not like it too much anymore. Besides, I don't really go caving in these days since it's so late game. This is fine, everything is good. I guess there's also a mine shaft down here, so I guess I'm exploring now. Okay, oh, there we go. I thought I had gone the wrong way immediately. That would have been just great. Ooh, finally. Right, well, that's the end of that path. Whoa. Imagine making a base down here, that would be so cool. Slinky's over here like, we have an entire data pack full of all these new biomes, and you just you decide to build in the middle of the ocean? He's not wrong. Didn't really think about that. But I was really inspired to build the Adriano, so I'm not sad about that decision per se, it's just... Maybe this was a missed opportunity. I think I've lost the mineshaft altogether. Oh well, more stems. So before I get started on the interior, I think I'm actually going to move this beacon to be inside on the upper floor, so that when I go, when we look up here at the actual lighthouse portion, a beam of light shoots out. So, I mean, it won't be centered because that's only, or that's a four block space, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'll live. First things first though, we gotta make sure the light can actually pass through. So I'm gonna take these blocks here, and hopefully if I convert them into stairs, the beacon will be able to pass through just fine. I don't know if that's how it works, but I hope so. Ah yes, I am now completely trapped. This was something I thought through ahead, yep yep. Sure is. Also, I'm not even sure I can light the lamps. Ah. That's annoying. I guess I'll just have to replace the lamps with something like shroom lights or glowstone. Let's see. Ooh, you know what would be really nice is the ochre frog lights, I think? Are those the yellow ones? Pretty sure ochre means yellow. Gosh, where did I even put those? There's a fair chance I don't have any... Well, it's alright. I'll worry about that later. For now... Ah, do I want glowstone? Uh, yeah, I think I want glowstone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2012. Oh boy. Hello? 
Didn't expect to see you there. You had it coming. Right, so this is not where the beacon goes. Uh, oh, hi. I haven't seen another person in years. Let's see, we're directly under here. Maybe I can hide the beacon in the roof. That would be really nice. Okay, let's see. Beacon goes here. Ooh. Now I have to make the base without falling. All right, that should do for the beacon. Eh. Eh. That's still not enough. That figures. Well, I guess that's gonna stay down there for the rest of the... Oh, yeah. Duh. Hold on. There we go. Okay, all set. Here's the beacon, and... This place is meant to be viewed from a distance anyway, so I guess the beacon... It doesn't look like it's off-centered if you're not looking for it. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Onward to the interior, which, according to the sounds I'm hearing, is infested with mobs. Paying patrons only. Aha! Uh-oh, I don't know if you can hear that. It's raining in real life now. Okay, the rain has stopped. I think I'm free to continue. So let's see, this part... Hmm, I'm... Hello? Alright, they're just gonna hang out up there, that's fine. So... I... Guess... Let's see, I am... Let's say I'm a sea pilot. Here to stay the night at the hotel. My plane parks here. And then I guess I would go here to the restaurant. And I guess I would go in and up. Like a staircase here. To get to that main lobby. Otherwise, maybe one of these two entrances, because this looks like a front entrance to me, but when you think about it, it's probably the the back. The, I've been referring to the to that side as the back, but this side is where the garden is, and I don't think you would enter through the garden. Okay, so with that in mind, this will be just sort of a, a transition period from this, the main lobby, Maybe I'll have, you know, those hotels that have, like, balconies going along the top there, but the whole area is open. Maybe I'll try that out. I've just got a lot of options to choose from here. A lot of decisions to make. First things first, though, I've decided to make this all double-layered so that we can get more detail in and have more, more of a difference between the floors and the... Oh, yep, this is going to be an issue. You can variate between the walls and the floors and the ceilings. So I've got to cover... Well, should I do the walls first? Hmm. Okay. Hit a new plan. Wall, wall, wall. Wall, wall, wall. And then this will be an arch, so that when you walk through, it opens up into the lobby. So now, knowing that, I guess I just start covering, huh? Okay, so this might not look like much because it isn't, but it is a start, and I'm not... Eh. See, this is where I think vertical half slabs would be kind of nice, just to add that extra bit of trim there. So you can see there's quite a distance between these windows and those windows. I don't think I want the windows to be so high in comparison to the floor on the second floor, so maybe there will just have to be this big old air gap here, like in this weird space in between. But like I said, the floors are going to be double layered. So floor here, ceiling there. It shouldn't be too bad. Actually, I mean, it'll be, this ceiling will be directly above this block here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this area just yet, but I do want to get started on the lobby. Hi! Don't jump, I'll shoot you. Okay, looking at things a little closer, I think I'm going to cut the walls off here. Or rather, build build walls coming off of this corner to that edge. Which means we won't really have... We won't really have room for a balcony. 
Uh, I'm not even sure where to put the stairs, if I'm honest. Let's see. If the floor slash ceiling is here, this place will all be open. Maybe I could fit some stairs going up like that. Thank you, no thank you. And then, as for... I was thinking about a large chandelier, but again, if I'm adding these walls here... I'll, I'll figure it out. It's okay. But unfortunately, I guess that won't be tonight. I, I seem to have run out of time before I did literally anything other than move the beacon. I'm sorry about that. I really had plans today. I was gonna get stuff done. I swear it just didn't work out. But at least you have an idea of what next episode's gonna look like, so uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye!